Hey guys, geek into everyone. On this video, I'm gonna tell you how to use rsync to backup your data on Linux. What is the rsync tool? The rsync tool, short from remote sync, is a file synchronization tool that intelligently backup data locally or remotely. It compares the source and destination location and only transfers the portion of data that have changed. It is an incremental backup tool that saves your time when huge backups are involved. On my Linux operational system, rsync is already installed. Let's check it out. It. You can type rsync minus minus help option, press enter. You can see some info about this tool, included information about options, description and syntax. Okay, as you can see as well, rsync version 3.1.2. If rsync is not installed on your Linux operational system and you have a Debian or Ubuntu, you can use this command sudo apt get install rsync and press enter and by this command you gonna install rsync tool into your linux operational system but rsync install on my linux operational system let's check it out how it works in practical way so as i told you rsync is used for backupping and synchronizing data it can be used locally to backup files to different directories or can be configured to sync across the network to other hosts. Firstly, I'm gonna show you how you can use rsync for local backups. On my current working directory, there are two directories named dir1 and dir2. Let's create some files on the directory dir1. Let's create file name file 1, file 2 and file 3. There are three files on the directory dir1. Let's add some text data inside file 1. Okay, we added some data inside file 1, I highlight the text of command, then we check the content inside this file and there is expression hello geeks. One more time on our current working directory, there are three files, file 1, file 2, file 3. Now let's back up all these files, all this data from the directory dir1 to directory dir2 using rsync command. You can see syntax on your screen now. So let's type this command rsync Okay, let's press enter. On the output you can see some info about this command. So this command, I highlight the text, synchronized the content of first directory named dir1 to second directory named dir2 and leave no differences between them. If rsync finds that directory2 dir2 has a file that directory1 does not have, it will delete it. If rsync finds a file that has been changed, created or deleted in directory1, dir1, it will reflect same changes to directory2, dir2. Let's talk about options of this command. First option, a option. This option syncs recursively and also preserves attributes such as symbolic links, file ownership, permissions and modification times. Next option, v option, I highlight the text. 
this option prints out the, the process of synchronization in verbose. Then option minus minus delete. This option tells rsync to delete any files that are in directory 2, dir2, that are not in directory 1, dir1. If you use this option, I recommend you also using the verbose option, this one. So let's check directory dir2. There are three files file 1, file 2, file 3 on the directory 2, dir2, as you can see. Let's create a new file into directory 1, dir1. I call it file 4. And let's run rsync command one more time. As you can see, an only file 4 backup into directory 2. Let's clear the terminal. Let's check it out. Okay. As you can see, on the directory 2, dir2, there is a file 4. So next part, I'm going to show you how to use rsync for external backups. Rsync can be configured in several different ways for external backups, but I'm going to show you the most practical method of tunneling Rsync through SSH. Firstly, you have to check if SSH installed into your, into your Linux operational system and server where you want to Firstly, you want to check it out if SSH install into your Linux operational system. You can use uh, SSH minus uppercase V. On the output, you can see version of SSH. If SSH is not installed on your Linux, you can use a sudo apt get install SSH but on my Linux operation system SSH is installed so I don't want to run this command. Then actually we're gonna run the same command we did for local backups but include necessary additions for tunneling rsync through SSH to another server. So let's type this command rsync av delete e ssh dir1 So we're gonna run this command, include additions for tunneling rsync through the SSH to the server to a server with this IP address for user geek and we use same options as we used the previous command. You have to be sure that SSH install on your Linux operation system and to remote server as well. By default, SSH use port number 22, but if you want to use a specific port, you can do it like that, minus P, and the port number, for, for example, is gonna be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. By this command, you're gonna use a specific port for SSH instead of port number 22, which SSH use by default. So when you run this command, uh, rsync backup all data from directory dir1 to directory dir3 on remote host. This host, I highlight the text, and we're gonna connect to this host using geek user. If you do that, 
so you can back up to remote machine by this command. So in part 3 of this video is automating our sync backups. You can use a cron on Linux to automate the execution of command such as rsync. I can show you how you can do that. Firstly you have to run cron tab minus e. There are some tasks here but I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna create a task on cron tab to back up a local directory on my Linux operational system. So I'm gonna type this command. Okay, and I'm gonna save this file. The following command, I highlight the text. We'll run the rsync command every night at 10 p.m. The first zero specifies the minute of the hour and 22 specified 10 p.m. Then we want this command to run daily. We have to leave the rest of fields with asterisks. As you can see, there are three asterisks. Then you specify the command you want to run on this time. So we're gonna run our sync command with the option we already discussed. This option which helps to back up incrementally. And then you specify the first directory you want to back up. It's a directory dir1 and you want to back up this directory into another directory on the local machine named dir2. So we already save it and we exit it. As you can see, we have a task on our cron task manager. That means every day at 10 p.m. this command is gonna be run and, and back up our data on local machine. Thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Ciao, ciao.